Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a very exciting package here all the way from Taiwan where a company called Laban is based and they specialize in fountain pens and fountain pen inks. And I actually reached out to them and asked them if they would want me to review one of their pens and they said yes. And I'm so excited that they uh, wanted to send me something to review. Now I'm not getting paid for this review, so all the opinions are my own, but I'm just so happy that they sent this to me. All right, let's unbox this. So here is what was inside that box. There is this adorable sticker. Oh my gosh, I love stickers. This is so going in my ink journal. Love stickers. And then they also sent me a free bottle of ink. They asked me to choose which one I would want, and I'm like, I have to have Poseidon and I know I just did my uh, teals and turquoises ink comparison or ink uh, exploration so this is another one to add to the list but now I'm going to be doing a swatch of that as well but now da, 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 da. let's see if we can get this out here so it comes in this cardboard sleeve and then in this blue box that has Le bon in there that says refill your soul by writing and it's got the fountain pen nibs oh I really love that and then you've got the Le bon logo there and then on the back it has lebon.com and then you just slide the pen out I'm not very graceful oh my goodness look at that beauty Wow. And it comes with another sticker with the Le Bon nib in there. Can you see that? That is a beautiful, beautiful nib. So two stickers. Ooh, bonus. This is the Le Bon 325. So in this box, you have this that comes up here and then ooh, I've been seeing this in a lot of people's uh, boxes when they get an order from Le Bon and I think it's a little cardboard bookmark that looks like a nib I love that and then you've got the Le Bon product information and their international guarantee and basically how the pen works and how to clean it things like that no cartridge that comes in there but let's put all of these back in the box and actually look at the pen but I do love the presentation I think the box is stunning actually and I do keep my boxes I keep the boxes for one if I ever decide to give the pen away or sell it but it's just for me nice to have the presentation boxes I don't have a hundred pens I now have under 20 I'm just gonna keep it at that number but this is enough for me to keep boxes for so let's go ahead and unbox this gorgeous pen as you can see it looks pretty big it's got the ivory well ivory like resin it's not real ivory it's ivory like resin and then the cap is black along with the uh, end finial here and then you've got the beautiful Le Bon logo there and then you've got a really, it feels like a bit of a stiff clip. There's not, uh, I would say there's, you know, it's a good clip. I don't use clips that often. And then you've got the cap that is a screw cap. And it does feel like it does take a, how long does it take to close that? So let's try that. So one rotation probably one and a half, one and three quarters to uh, screw the cap off of the pen. And then, oops, and then there is the Le Bon nib. It has 3952 here for, I believe, I can't remember the name of the mountain, but it is the tallest summit in all of Taiwan. And it just says Le Bon, Germany. So I believe this is a Yovo nib. Yeah, this is a Yovo nib, and I got this in a broad. Yes, this is a broad nib. I will definitely be <laughs> trying that out. So let's look at this at this compared to other pens as well. So putting that down here, let's zoom in. So comparing the Le Bon 325, and this is the Cambridge Black, we compare it to the Twisby Eco. 
and I have a Pilot Metropolitan, a Sailor Pro Gear, and Pelican M400. So you can see it is the largest pen now that I have. So let's uncap all of these and see what they look like uncapped. So looking at all of these uncapped, it actually looks like the Twisby Eco might be a tad longer. Let's reverse that there. Yeah, the Twisby Eco looks like it is a tad longer, if not almost the exact same size, but then it is longer uncapped than the Metropolitan and definitely longer than the M400, although not by much of the M400, and then definitely longer than the Sailor Pro Gear. In terms of the weight of the pen, it actually feels quite good in the hand. I could try and post it. It doesn't post very deeply. It posts about that far into the pen. And it feels very back heavy when I do post it, so I won't be posting that. It is actually quite a heavy lid. And then holding it in my hand, it's got a good size grip section. And then the threads here are actually not sharp at all. And then there's a tiny bit of a step up with those gold bands there, but hardly feel that hardly feel that it feels really good in the hand nice balanced pen not too uh, narrow in the grip section either this pen if you unscrew that does come with its own converter that is labeled with Laban gorgeous and there are metal threads inside so you cannot eyedropper this but it looks like it's got I think it's just a standard converter, but actually that looks different to any converter that I've ever seen. Really pretty, really, really pretty. But this particular model, the Le bon 325, actually comes in quite a few different colors. And I know there was a brown one where the body was the ivory-like resin, and then the finials and the cap were brown. And now they actually have different ones where the body is, you know, I think they have one that's in the ocean or the red or the orange, and they're really beautiful. And there's one that's the Sakura that is the pink, and I've seen that one as well. Very, very beautiful pen. So I'm going to go ahead and actually dip this in the Poseidon ink and see what it writes like. My first broad nib. So, so excited. So here is the bottle of Poseidon Green. I love that Le Bon have named their inks after the Greek gods and goddesses. I was very much into Greek mythology when I was growing up and even took a couple of classics courses in university. So this is 50 mils of the Poseidon Green and I love that there's a matching sticker for that as well. So I'm going to dip this quickly in, or dip my pen quickly into the bottle. The neck of the bottle feels, seems a little narrow, but I think I'll be able to fit, whoops, fit the pen in there. Did I even get it all the way in? There we go. I can't tell if I got it in or not. Okay. So I'm testing this on my A6 Hobonichi uh, notebook with the Tomo River paper. So this is my Bon oh, 5 Cambridge. Oh my gosh, that is so smooth. And it is the, and it has got a broad nib. I can't believe I have a broad nib. And this is with the Le Bon Poseidon Green. didn't think I would like a broad nib, but I love how wet that is. I love how smooth that is. Well, with my tiny writing, my, my letters seem all squished together, even though I am feeling like I have to write bigger. 
but I just wanted to try a broad nib to see how I would like it and it is so so smooth now because they are German made nibs they are going to be as wide as German made nibs which is obvious but overall I am in love in love with this pen the great thing about the Le Bon 325 pens is that there are some retailers who sell replacement nibs for this so if you wanted to try a medium nib or an extra fine nib or a fine nib or even a stub nib or they even have 14 karat extra fine flex nib or a 14 karat fine flex nib you can actually purchase those as well and I believe Yoseka Stationery sells those as well as I believe Cult Pen sells the extra fine, fine, medium, and broad as well as the stub nibs. So I may purchase some replacement nibs to try with this as well. Beautiful. And now a quick swatch of Poseidon Green so you can actually see what the swatch looks like. Oh, wow. So, so pretty. Let's put another one on there to see what the shading is going to be like. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I need a towel. So this is the Le Bon in the Poseidon green. I love that so much. Look at that. Look at the shading in that. Absolutely stunning. Let's do my leaf. Beautiful. And with this broad nib. Oh loving this combination i may have to try more Le Bon inks now in the future gorgeous so would i recommend the Le Bon 325 absolutely i love how classy this pen looks it looks like it's just oh it's beautiful it's stunning it's got a good weight to it and i feel like it is a large pen so it may not suit everybody but I like the larger pen and the nib is fantastic if you are familiar with uh, I believe it's the Yovo nib and you've got a good nib there the broad nib was fantastic in this one as well and they do have the replacement nibs and I just love the presentation of it and then the ink look at that gorgeous teal ink beautiful 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 and they have so many different colors as well i can't wait to try them all so i highly recommend Le Bon. now the uh, standard retail pricing on this so the srp is 160 dollars us but i believe there are retailers like gold spot and cult pens that do sell it for cheaper so go ahead and visit those retailers i don't have a code with them unfortunately but they are fantastic retailers to work with as well all right, but that is it for my review of the Le Bon 325. I'm so, so excited. I'm so thankful for Le Bon for sending me this pen to review. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.